All right, guys, tonight I'm gonna to do a quick video and we're gonna run through the process of doing a uncoated stainless steel tumbler. These are actually Amazon tumblers. They're, they don't have a logo or anything on them, so it's a clean slate and you can engrave pretty much anywhere you want to. Uh, we've got a black logo that we're gonna be putting on these. So stick around for a few minutes and I'll show you the process that I use. guys the first step before you engrave uh, a clear cup like this with no coating this is just pure stainless steel i try to use this it's basically the a very similar process as i use in the after cleaning of my other tumblers i'll use myself a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol and the purpose of that is is to make sure there's no sticker residue or any kind of oil or any kind of greasy film on this cup that could interfere with uh, the coating being applied to it uh, Occasionally when you buy these things, they'll have those little stickers on them or some type of wrap and you may get some glue on there. So I just wipe that real, real good with the uh, magic eraser, give it a little once over with a rag uh, and then whatever type of, I mean, I, you can just use glass cleaners, all I ever use. Uh, and Windex works as long as it, uh, as long as it's a glass cleaner, typically it's gonna evaporate completely. You just don't want anything left on the cup when you're gonna coat it and then get it, just make sure it's good and clean. Like I said, the oils, uh, you don't want any oils on there. I can tell you that because it will affect how the uh, mark stays. And then I use Ceramark. There's a lot of other sprays that you can use. This is one of the smaller bottles. Uh, and, uh, but we're gonna have to have a big bottle and break it out because we've got about, I think I've got 16 of these things or 12 of these things that I've got to do. So, We'll go ahead and get this thing coated and we'll be back with the laser in just a second. All right, we got her set up and uh, we'll give you a quick little walkthrough for those of you that hadn't seen any of my previous videos. I'm not gonna go into too much detail of what all my setup here is. I've got a couple of videos that you can watch on my channel that'll kind of fill in the blanks for you. But for those of you that have, I've got my, my little support block up here. I'm running a pin in it to kind of give me a little something to push on that. Like I said, this is just my little safety catch in case it tries to move. Uh, with this one, I am using my trusty uh, bush hog socket to keep this thing uh, level. I'm not running any spacers. I've got my, my little zero zero spacer adapter in here just to keep everything from sliding. I am using my jig to hold my, my rotary and that is basically to ensure that I am lined up with my X axis so that my image doesn't end up shifted or skewed to one side or the other. Uh, the rotary, as many of you know, I've got dial marks on here on my frame. I'm gonna pull that up to there. That means that my laser is now dead center of that rotary, which is where I want it. And then I'm gonna adjust this to the cup based on which cup I've got. And with this one, the logo that I'm gonna be burning is gonna go from right where this thing starts to flatten out between there and the top of the cup. Uh, I will be using Laser Box Basic. This actually is a repeat customer. I've done, uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 of these for them. And so I know exactly what the uh, the image looks like. And I've done these particular cups before. So I'm gonna get that image loaded up right quick while we discuss it. But like I said, the marking spray that I use, I, I've used it quite a few times and it seems to, to do me a good job. All right, so I've got my image loaded. Uh, one thing that I will remind you of is anytime you're, you're doing the image one, make sure that your cup, the mouth of the cup is pointed towards the uh, motor on your, on your uh, device. If you follow my directions, because I'm gonna rotate my image 90 degrees, which means it's gonna be sitting this way. All right, right now I have my image size. I'm gonna walk through the steps on this. Right now my image size in laser burn uh, basic says it's 158 wide and 90 height. So on this particular tumbler, if you look at where we've got, you know, some real estate to write here, uh, you're only looking at about 60 millimeters of nice flat space. So I'm gonna change my image size down to a height of 50 which is gonna make it a little smaller, but I don't wanna run out of room on this burn. 
And so I've got it centered. I've got it oriented properly. Uh, my settings, let me pull up my little cheat sheet here. And stainless steel with two coats of Ceramark spray. I have been running 100% power at 70 millimeters per second. And I have successfully used that power 13 times with good results. So I'm gonna say that's gonna be what we're gonna go with, 100% power at 70 millimeters per second. Uh, it's a good idea to keep notes when you're uh, doing this stuff. That's just my opinion. So that's basically gonna be coated metal uh, in the uh, laser, burn, or laser box basic software. So I've got that done. I'm gonna fire up my laser here, get her going. It's gonna get a little noisy. Adding my laser, going to the start. You wanna make sure that your rotary is engaged in this next step. I recommend setting your uh, speed in the control panel here for your framing to a 40. And I'm gonna set my speed, my framing speed to 40 and I'm gonna frame it to see where we go. So as you can see, the logo significantly longer this way. And when I laid the cup down, I didn't rotate my Ceramark spray to the appropriate location. So I'm gonna rotate that thing and get it to where the entire surface of where I'm wanting to burn to is coated with the spray. So I'm gonna reframe that, see what happens. I'm gonna lift this image up a little bit So I need to come up just a fuzz. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna move anything in the software. I'm starting with the default start point when you pull this up, which is the top left corner. And I'm gonna leave that alone because that's just the way I prefer to do it. And I'm just gonna frame that a couple, of seconds, a couple more times and make sure that it goes where I want it. Still need to go back this way just a little to stay in the spray. That's the only downside to to spray in these things is you got to make sure when you spray it, you spray every area that you need. So we'll pull that over. All right, that looks good. So I'm going to call that good to go. And we're going to hit the start button here and get this thing cooking. All right, I fixed to turn my vacuum table on to get these fumes out of here. So it's going to get a little, uh, noisy but i'm going to pause the camera here or stop the camera and start it back up where i can play this thing and fast forward for y'all All right, guys, the uh, burn's over, and I'm gonna power everything down so it'll get a little quieter here. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove this thing. Uh, there's the, the image as it sits right now. So give me just a second, and we'll back the camera up, and I'll get some cleaner out, and we'll fix this thing up. And before anybody points it out, I know this stuff's water-soluble, but I'm gonna be using my glass cleaner again just because it's handy, and I like it. And it doesn't take much. It's not like it's wasting a whole lot of stuff. Uh, typically, you can take this thing under a faucet and run it under the water for a few minutes and get it off of there. But here at the Clack Shack, we do not have indoor plumbing. So we just make do and we use what we got. And so I'm gonna go back over that again with some uh, cleaner. Let's get this thing cleaned up real nice. Uh, like I said, there may be different sprays. There may be better sprays. There may be other products that you can use to do this and it may do a better job. I'm not sure. But uh, like I said, this is the second batch of this particular cup that I have done for, for this organization. And uh, they liked them and sent for more. So <laughs> my idea is uh, why, not, why change it? You know, I mean, if, if everybody likes the product, I don't really want to go change it. So. 
I'm gonna try to find me a clean spot on my little rag here because I've done got it a little nasty. So y'all can see what we got here. But it's hard to pick this up on camera because it's uh, the, the silver and the black and I've got some pretty good LED lights in here. It may actually be a little better off from a distance. Let's see if I can get it going down at an angle. Maybe that'll help. But there it is. Uh, I'm hoping you can see that. <laughs> If it doesn't turn out good in the video, I'll try to I'll try to take a picture of it with a camera. Kind of got to get it down to where got to get it down at an angle where the uh, lights aren't reflecting off of it. It should be able to pick it up. I'm gonna sneak around to the back see if I can see it in the view screen. All right, yeah, there it goes. That looks pretty decent right there. You can tell. You can tell that worked. So we're to call that a success and. Uh, if you have any more questions, like I said, I apologize. Uh, I've got plans. I've got a, something I got to do tonight. I just wanted to be able to drop this video. I see some people asking questions about the stainless steel tumblers, and had a couple people message me about what you know what I use and how I do it. Uh, like I said, the, so far the stuff has held up pretty good on the ones that I have done. Now with anything, I mean you're going to be able to scratch it off. You're going to be able to if you drop this thing on the asphalt or something, it's going to come off of there. But like I said, so far, people keep coming back for them, so it must work. I uh, appreciate you coming. I'm glad I could uh, hopefully teach somebody something. If, it's, if this was beneficial to you, if you liked it, feel free to drop a comment down below. If you got any questions or whatnot, I'll try to get back with you. And uh, if, if you missed part of my setup and want to know a little more about my setup, you can look at my playlist for uh, laser engraving, and I've got a couple more videos that go a little more in-depth on my setup and how it works, but I didn't want to go in, into that too deep and just be repeating things that I've repeated in previous videos. So if you uh, like the video, please hit the subscribe button, uh, give me a thumbs up, and like I said, comment if you want. And thanks for coming, have a good day.